amplifying you. ExoGT is a wearable robotic gait training device. ExoGT can be used to address differing goals for ambulation. It can be used to provide the ability to walk for someone who has lost the ability, or Exo can be used as a tool to address physical therapy gait retraining goals through patterning, stepping, and providing only supplemental assistance when a person needs it. ExoGT is approved to be used with individuals who have had a spinal cord injury or a stroke. The best candidates for using the dynamic nature of ExoGT have some lower extremity strength and gait training goals and potential. The ExoGT has two motors at the hips and two motors at the knees. The ankles are not powered, but adjustable to assist with balancing the Exo. The device is self-supporting and therefore the individual using Exo does not feel the weight of the device and is fully bearing their own weight within the device. ExoGT comes with a fit kit containing pads and spacers to allow you to customize Exo for individuals of all shapes and sizes. Patient Eval and Screening Every patient must be evaluated before using ExoGT to determine that they fit the range of motion and strength requirements and to determine how to program Exo to accommodate that individual. Before a patient may try Exo, their physician must sign a medical release. Important criteria include, but are not limited to, weighing 220 pounds or less, having no open wounds in contact with Exo, having a standing hip width of 18 inches or less, have a near normal range of motion at the hip, knee, and ankle. Device adjustment. Device adjustment requires two wrenches and is about a five minute process to adjust for each patient. It was designed to be used by many patients throughout the clinical day. The adjustments include hip width, hip abduction and adduction, upper leg, lower leg. The ankle can be adjusted as well, but no wrench is needed. Patient setup. Donning the device should take approximately five minutes and involves choosing the appropriate fit kit items to make sure EXO will fit the patient comfortably and accurately. Putting EXO on involves having the patient transfer to the chair that EXO is sitting in and wrapping the EXO around the patient. There is a foot binding, a tibial brace, a thigh brace, a torso pad, and backpack straps to unite the EXO and patient. Doffing EXO happens more quickly and can be done in one to two minutes. Sit to stand. The sit to stand is fully powered by EXO, but requires patient interaction to be ideal. The EXO will sit the patient up to 90 degrees and then lean forward. At the end of the lean, patient must push up on the assistive device and assist with getting their weight balanced over their feet. The transition is assisted by the PT for balance purposes. Pregate. ExoGT can be used when the PT would like to practice pregate activities. Weight shift is a program that prepares the patient for proper stepping using visual cues and auditory tones set by the PT to teach the patient to shift their weight laterally and find their midline orientation. Step in place is another pregate program that prepares the patient for walking. With both legs free, the patient can step in place, march, and step forward and back. Squats are performed with the legs free as well. The patient is then able to squat down to a certain set knee flexion of either 45, 65, or 90 degrees. If the patient gets fatigued or stuck, there is a rescue button that will bring the patient back up to standing. Adaptive Assist Generally, bilateral adaptive assist is a starting point with most patients. This mode allows the patient to feel the gait path or trajectory that EXO is trying to keep them on. It also forces the patient into a symmetrical gait pattern and allows them to take smooth, repetitive steps. EXO-GT will adjust the amount of assistance it provides as needed. The device will assist less if it senses the patient is doing more. If the patient is doing less, the device will assist the patient more to create smooth, normal steps. Feedback numbers assist the PT in adjusting software to progress the patient and monitor progress, as well as where to start when progressing to fixed assist. Fixed assist. If the PT wants to alter the patient's motor planning, we can lower the assistance ceiling 
to make the patient do more throughout the swing phase of gait. Fixed assist allows the PT to turn down the exo's motor output independently on the left and right. This mode continues to require the patient to stay on a normal gait path or trajectory, but now requires the patient to fill in the power that exo is not providing. The PT is able to set a delay called swing complete for when the exo should complete a step that has not been finished. If the step is not completed by the patient, swing complete will finish the step. This mode is like strength training and requires the patient to work harder and concentrate harder to complete the swing phase. This allows for motor learning along the gait path. PTs use feedback numbers to set the levels of assistance and monitor how much work the EXO is doing. PTs can use feedback numbers to set the levels of assistance and monitor how much the EXO is doing, as well as monitor the patient's progress and fatigue. Free gait. This mode allows the PT to take the robotic trajectory or path off the legs, but allows for stance support to be set for the hip and knee. In this mode, there is no longer a gait path to follow. The patient is able to use any gait pattern they would like, and the PT is able to add assistance to one or both legs. The PT may also add resistance to one or both legs, or let them remain neutral without any assistance or resistance. This allows the PT to customize their treatment depending on their goals and the patient's presentation. In this mode, the patient has the freedom to practice walking faster and show the PT what they have learned, while still being appropriately supported at the hip and knee with stance support and maintained in the sagittal plane. Too free allows for error learning and acts as a bridge to move to more efficient overground ambulation without exo. Right or left affected. Right affected allows the right leg to be robotically controlled while the left leg is trajectory free. The trajectory free leg is under the patient's control. Here Sasha has taken a short step with the left leg before completing a longer step. The PT can either cue Sasha to step through with her free leg or the PT can revert back to bilateral robotic control of the legs to ensure a step through gait pattern. We've only just scratched the surface of the versatility and capability of this dynamic gait retraining tool. To learn more about what the ExoGT can do, visit exobionics.com and schedule a demo by reaching out to customer relations. Take the next step with us.